I could see the glow of the, the burning rig at 90 miles away, I knew this was big. I knew that uh, this was like seeing hell on earth. I could see this immense glow on the horizon. It looked like that I was flying to New York City. We were hovering about half a mile to the east of the burning rig, and I could feel the intensity of the flames through the fuselage of the airframe. And I was looking into this burning hulk of metal and it was like looking into the face of the devil. If you're out there on a rig, fire breaks out. There's not a, there's not a whole pla a lot of places for you to go. And that's when I saw the flames in the derrick. Uh, as soon as I saw that, I knew there was no way we were going to put it out. We were just going to get off of there, I was sure. And that's when my panic set in. And it, I mean, that scared me absolutely to death right then. I've never had a feeling like that. Um, you know, that's all I kept thinking was, well, we're all dead. It, I mean, the lifeboats are probably gone. You know, I didn't know, I hadn't seen anybody until this point. I didn't know if I was the only person still on the rig or what. Everybody started hollering to abandon the rig. Some people were jumping off. Uh, some people were holding people back from jumping off. They wouldn't let them. And then other people were, you know, trying to cram into the lifeboats. I got the number two lifeboat, and that was that was the lifeboat that most of the the hurt people were in, the injured guys were in. And everybody was in there hollering and screaming, you know, we got to go. You know, the derrick's fixing to fall. On. They released the lifeboat to down to the water, and we got up to the uh, to the Damon Bankston. They set down a rope ladder and we got everybody off that could get off. And then we had to go back and you know, we had to stay down there and help the hurt guys get off. And we sat there and pretty much watched the, the rig burn for six or seven hours. Um, which is something I'll never forget. I mean, that, the image is just burned in my head. I'll never forget watching that. Um, you know, that was that was pretty tough sitting there and just watching that, knowing that we, after we took the mustard and stuff, we figured out, you know, we were missing. 11 guys. We all got in a big group on the on the boat of the deck, and you know we all said a prayer for them, and you know, we just kept praying that, that somebody would find them.